Later that day, the fuck controller was praising the engines for rescuing the missing engines. If it wasn't for you lot, said the fat controller, then we wouldn't have seen the other engines ever again. Well done, all of you. Thank you, sir, said Thomas, but I'm still convinced that it was Diesel 10 behind the kidnapping, and not Diesel. The police are still conducting their investigation, said the fat controller. And if there is evidence that Diesel 10 was behind the kidnapping, then I will deal with him personally. Are you going to send Diesel 10 packing, sir? asked Lady. If he was behind the kidnapping. I thought by giving Diesel 10 many second chances, explained the fat controller, that he would become a really useful engine. But I was a fool to keep Diesel 10 as long as I could. As soon as the police confirmed that it was Diesel 10, then I will most certainly send him packing. Oh, thank you, sir, said Lady. I think I speak for all of us when I say I think soda would be better without Diesel 10. You're right, Lady, said Thomas. Soda would be better if Diesel 10 was no longer on soda. And the two special friends smiled. But just then, there was the sound of a familiar voice. Aha! The blue puffball! And look who else we found! Yes, said Boomer, the lost engine! Bubbling boilers, gasped Percy. It's Diesel 10, but who's that on top of his roof? Fizzling fireboxes, gasped Lady. That's P.T. Boomer! Run, Lady, quickly, said Thomas, and I'm going to help you! Then, Percy remembered the viaduct. Be careful of the viaduct, he said. I think it's on the verge of collapsing again. And the two tank engines raced away, with Diesel 10 and Boomer chasing them. Now I'll get you, Lady, cackled Boomer. No, you won't, Boomer, said Lady, because the magic you refuse to believe in will get the better of you. You can run, but you can't hide, cackled Diesel 10. Right, Pinchy? <laughs> Pinchy's hungry! Get back, screamed Thomas. Come on, lady, he cried. Coming, puffballs, cackled Diesel 10. The engines raced past the watermill and raced through Henry's tunnel. Here we go, said Diesel 10. Duck Pinchy, duck Boomer, ha ha ha. The chase continued as Diesel 10 continued to chase after Thomas and Lady and Thomas and Lady continued to race away from Diesel 10 and his creator. Okay, Lady, cackled Boomer, the gloves are off. But there was more trouble ahead. The viaduct was on the verge of collapsing as Thomas and Lady made their way towards it. Oh no, Thomas, gasped Lady. The viaduct is crumbling again. Do you think we can make it? Thomas thought and then he said, We can, Lady. Remember, little engines can do big things. They trembled onto the viaduct as it began to collapse. Lady managed to make it across. Thomas tried too. Then suddenly, a large gap appeared, but Thomas managed to make it just in time. Well done, Thomas, cheered Lady. Well done! <coughs> but Diesel 10 and Boomer weren't so lucky. Stop, Diesel 10! Stop! cried Boomer. I can't! cried Diesel 10. Ah! Oh! Puffball! Teapot! Dan Gettle! And Diesel 10 and P.T. Boomer landed in a barge of sludge. P.T. Boomer was very cross. He knew he was going to be sent to prison once again. And Diesel 10 knew that he was going to be sent away from Sodor once and for all.